Hi guys, so I've been using the Galaxy S10 with the Google ACR camera for a while now. And um, let me give you a quick comparison here. So here you see the Galaxy S10 uh, automatically switches to its night mode. And this is in pretty much complete darkness. The only source of light is pretty much the moonlight and slight light coming from my neighbors. All right, you can see the Galaxy S10. On the right is a night sight with the Google ACR camera on the Galaxy S10. Looks a lot better, right? So if there's one reason to install the Google ACR camera is for the night sight. You're gonna get so much better photos, especially in those complete dark situations. You're gonna be able to get a decent photo instead of photo that looks like this. All right, here's another photo of my house. The only source of light was pretty much moonlight. All right, this is all from the moon. And you can see the Galaxy S10. It doesn't look too bad, but you can't really see the color of my house while the Google ACR camera, you can really tell it, it looks pretty good. And zooming in, you can see how much detail is retained with the Google ACR night sight. So awesome stuff. Now, let me give you a quick comparison with the Pixel 3 camera. This is the original Pixel 3 and the Galaxy S10 with Google ACR camera 8 night sight. Um, you can see it's actually gets more details, looks a lot better. And you can see with the house shot, the Galaxy S10 kills the Pixel 3. Now the reason why this is because the hardware on the Galaxy S10 uh, is an f1.5 versus f1.8. Sensor, camera, lens combo hardware wise, the Galaxy S10 is better. And using the same Google HDR camera on both phones, the Galaxy S10 gives you better results. This is amazing. Now let's go on to day shots. And this is where the Galaxy S10 camera actually shines. I would actually recommend using the regular Galaxy S10 camera during the day. You could see the Galaxy S10 does a ton better bringing out the shadows while the Google ACR camera with the Galaxy S10 suffers in the darks. All right, you're losing all of these details while the Galaxy S10 camera does well. Now, if you use a Pixel 3 camera, Pixel 3 camera does a little bit better. Um, you can see it retains a lot more details, but it's still a lot darker than the Galaxy S10. All right, this was pretty much the same for all the daylight shots I took. Um, you can see a lot more details in the darks. All right, one thing you might not like is the oversaturated look of the Galaxy S10. It tends to oversaturate a little bit while the Google ACR camera is slightly washed out. I think this is personal preference, but in terms of exposure, you're gonna definitely get better results with the Galaxy S10 camera during the day. All right, here's a few more shots. You can see the Galaxy S10 killing it. And here's another shot with the bright sunlight on the top there, and the Galaxy S10 exposes a ton better. Now, let me go ahead and show you some low light shots. And here, you could actually see the Galaxy S10 camera exposing better. Amazing, right? So I'm actually really impressed with the Galaxy S10 camera. It has improved exposure levels, uh, especially in low light, a lot better. But if you do zoom in, you could tell the Google HDR camera picks up a lot more details. But exposure level does not look too bad with the Galaxy S10. But where it makes a difference is if you use night sight for stuff like this. So here's a shot with the Galaxy S10, and here's a shot with the Google HDR camera regular mode. This is not night sight. And you can see that the Galaxy S10 doesn't do too bad, but it loses a lot of details of these, these rocks on the wall. Now I did another shot with the night shot on and the Google HDR camera does even better. And zooming in, you can get a ton more details with the night sight. I would use night sight whenever it's low light because you're gonna get so much better photos. Look at how much more details there is with the Google HDR. But let's go ahead and install it on your Galaxy S10. Let's go take a look. All right, go to apkquick.com and um, I'll have a direct link to this. You'll find Galaxy S10 Google HDR camera APK with night sight. Go into that article and you'll be able to find um, the two download links here. So I'm going to go ahead and download the APK. All right, don't click on the ads. Go ahead and go down to download here and where it says click here to download, go ahead and click here to download. All right, download, download. If you have trouble downloading, try doing a long press on the click here to download and hit download link. 
all right, and then download. Um, also, go ahead and download the other file, gcam.zip, same method. All right, once those two files are downloaded, go ahead and go to Samsung and My Files app and go into your download folder. Go ahead and tap on the S10 blah blah APK file and go ahead and install it. You may have to check unknown sources on. All right, that will install it. Um, don't open it yet. Hit the back button and go ahead and tap on gcam.zip and go ahead and hit extract. All right, and if you go back to your download folder, you should have a folder called gcam. All right, you're gonna go ahead and do a long press and you're gonna move this whole directory and go into your internal storage and you're gonna move here. All right, that's it. Uh, once that's done, you should have a new app that looks like that, camera app. Go ahead and tap on that. Hit allow, 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 allow. All right, next go ahead and tap on this empty space right next to the shutter button. There we go. And go ahead and choose S10CS Mar2.XML and hit restore. And boom shakalaka. You should be able to take a photo. Now, I do recommend for low light photography, um, street lights, city lights, I do recommend using ACR Plus Enhance. You'll get much better exposure. Uh, for daylight stuff, you can just leave it on HDR plus. Now, if you want to do night sight, go to more, go to night sight, and boom shakalaka. Now you can use night sight. Now, you don't have to use night sight only at night. It can also give you very good photos during the day. So I would experiment. Um, also, you can use portrait mode, but I find portrait mode works a lot better with the regular Galaxy S10 camera, but you can go ahead and play around with it. I wouldn't use this camera for a video. Again, I would just use this camera for really mostly night sight or ACR plus enhanced, all right? But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the Google ACR camera on your Galaxy S10, S10e, S10 plus with Qualcomm. Do try it out. Let me know your results. If you like it, if you don't like it, um, leave your thoughts in the comment box or on our forum. Have a great day. And as always, stay high on Android. Just subscribe, 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 just subsc